Okay, well, today I want to talk about a collection that we purchased. The Lunt Company went bankrupt back in the fall, and um, recently we bought the design drawings of the Lunt Company that they've done over the last hundred years or so. And um, uh, one of the silversmiths at Lunt bought the collection. He bought filing cases full of drawings. And um, uh, then he called us up and said, would we be interested? And um, I thought about it. I thought, oh, there's probably some good research material here. And, um, you know, I decided, ah, we'll, we'll take a, a look at it. He said that there were probably around 3,000 pages of uh, drawings and information about their patterns and their hollowware. Well, I was thrilled when the group came in. Uh, first of all, he had understated the number of pages. I think it's conservatively 6,000 drawings. And each one of them is um, hand-drawn, pencil drawings of pieces that Lunt created over the years. Uh, this one is quite interesting. It's for the battleship, the USS Wichita. And um, it was the silver used on the battleship. Here is, you know, the designer's drawing of the way it was to appear. Here's a fancy pair of candelabras that, that Lunt did about 1900. Almost all of them were in these big file folders. Uh, here's some goblets that they did all drawn, drawn to scale. There's water pitchers, there's trays, there's lots of flatware pictured. And, um, you know, most of these, this one is labeled miscellaneous specials. But most of them are for a particular pattern or a particular type of thing. And my intention was to, um, you know, go through each folder and, um, you know, file them with the various patterns. And when people expressed an interest in the patterns, then I would bring it out. But as I was doing it, a collector uh, came by and said, would you be interested in selling the entire collection? Because I would like to uh, donate it to a museum. And I said, sounds like a great idea. So in, I had the collection for about a week or so and then I sold it. And they will be uh, classified and listed. And um, I'm not sure if I'm pronouncing it right, but there's a, a mansion called Winterthur. Um, and um, this person is on the board of the museum or great house mansion. And um, he is donating it. And I think it's for the, for the common good. And it's a shame that, you know, all these great silver companies in the United States have gone bankrupt or gone out of business. The only one left in the continental United States um, is Reed and Barton. Wallace is making their silver in Puerto Rico. Um, so it really is a thing of the past. It, it's been fun uh, looking at the collection, uh, but it's going for a good cause. Thank you.